Hello, this is Kasim Kulov. Today I will show you how you can draw a shape similar to Avery logo in Figma. This is a follow-up to my previous video where I draw this logo in Illustrator. Follow the link on screen if you are interested. Now since we will be using precise geometry, disable grid and snapping. Select pen tool and draw a straight horizontal line. Change its stroke value to 64, turn its starting and ending points to round. Give it a width of 128 pixels. Let's outline the stroke, make a copy and rotate it 60 degrees. Now the bounding box was rotated along with the shape, which makes it impossible to place it as we want even if we use smart guides or align features. To solve it, we need to reset its bounding box and we will use flatten feature in Figma. Now we can align it perfectly with the original shape. Make a copy, flip it horizontally and align it to the original horizontal shape too. We ended up with a very flat equilateral triangle, which I will be using later on as a reference to our main logo. Draw another horizontal line and give it a stroke value of 16 and change its width to 128 too. Copy the shape with Command C and paste it with Command V. You can notice the copy in the Layers panel. For convenience, let's give the copy another color. Change its stroke to 48. Outline it. Remove fill by clicking that minus symbol and add another 16 pixel centered stroke. So our main shape is almost ready. Let's outline it and turn it into a single shape by applying flatten command. Let's copy the right shape of our reference triangle. Bring it in front and let's apply subtract command. Get rid of the remainders with adding another shape and applying subtract command again. Now because of the architecture of Figma software, you will still see some of the shapes in outline mode. To fix that, apply the magical flatten command again and the problem should be gone. Move the shape to our reference triangle so that it aligns perfectly with the bottom. So that you see the effect clearly, I will exaggerate our shape with a gradient color. Once finished, make a copy and rotate it 120 degrees. Flatten it, align it with the reference triangle and tweak the gradient. Make another copy, rotate 120 degrees, flatten it and align it with the reference triangle. Finally, we can delete the reference triangle. The logo is ready, you can now group it and add a frame if you want. I will add Instagram post frame. You can right click and copy your design as CSS or SVG and use it for your web projects. Or you can export it to common formats. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions just leave a comment. Do not forget to subscribe to not miss any of my future tutorials.